I'm a Yakima tribal member, so I grew up on the reservation in a traditional family, practicing our culture, fishing, hunting. Those values instilled in me early on, really showed and guided me, not just in my career, but in my life. My name is Danella Miller. I'm the fishery science manager at the Columbia River Intertribal Fish Commission. Right now we're at the adult fish facility at the Bonneville Dam. This is where we have our crews where we get a subsample of all of the salmon that are returning past the Bonneville Dam. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Travis. The first thing I do is just kind of look it over for any injuries or anything. From... Part of the sampling process is um, we take a whole punch of a piece of their fin, and what that provides is a genetic sample that we can utilize. And then next, we grab uh, scale samples for aging purposes. The analysis that taking these samples provides helps us identify stocks and run timing so that it can inform harvest management to ensure that we're not overtaking potentially ESA listed stocks. And all of this can be done in real time. Looks good, nice and healthy. We'll send him on his way. Bye bye fish, we'll see you in the Yakima. Yeah, see you in the Yakima, all right. We just collected these samples at Bonneville Dam, so um, we're just delivering them to, to our mobile genetics lab here. Hey, Lenny. Hey, Danella. Yep. We have our main lab in southern Idaho, but now with the new mobile lab, they can have the results back that very next day. We'll go through and take a punch out of them. We'll repeat that for all 33 of the samples from today and be able to return results to you all, and we can assess what that means for harvest and conservation. We utilize the modern science to help advance the mission of our organization, and the data you know, feeds into our restoration efforts. The Condit Dam removal on the White Salmon River that really started when the dam came up for its federal relicensing, and that's where Cryptic and the tribes came into play. It didn't happen overnight. It was actually, I believe, close to a 19-year process. And now the work continues even today of not just restoration that you'll see firsthand on the bank, but also our continuing advocacy to restore the landscape throughout this basin. This is TEK taking the, the knowledge of our ancestors who have inhabited these lands for thousands of years. They know what belongs here and where it belongs and what the purpose of that was. And so that information is blended in with the modern science to help advance the mission of our organization and the work that we do for our tribes. It's cultural preservation at its core blending all of these pieces together with the technicians you saw handling the fish and our geneticists doing the work. We have tribal members who planted these trees and these bushes. We do this work for our future generations so that they can carry on our culture and our way of life. <laughs>